Well, Rhys, the ink is barely dry on the new contract. Relieved? Yes, I am. Um, it's taken a few days longer than what I thought it would have. Um, but it's done now, and we can crack on and start getting the th results that we uh, we need to. We'll come on to results and performances in a minute, but let's talk about the new and improved deal. I say relieved, you must be delighted as well. Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh, it's quite ironic, really, that seven years since uh, I put pen to paper last time with Mansfield, uh, give or take a couple of days, and here I am, seven years later, back, um, and really, really happy to be back. Were there ever any doubts about signing this new deal? No, uh, this is a place I wanted to come. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm here. We've spoken about this many a time off the air, um, but I know you won't mind me saying it on. You really do love not only this club but this town, don't you? You've got a real affection for this town. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a great place. Um, what can I say? I've, I've got a lot of friends here. Um, I, I like the place. <laughs> I think it's got a lot going for it, and the club. Um, the club is exactly the same. I like being at Mansfield, um, and, and long may it continue. Let's talk about recent performances and results. After the uh, the Cambridge game, what's gone wrong? Um, I've said this in the previous interview. I'd, I don't know if we took a foot off the pedal a little bit after the Cambridge game. Mm, we had a great win down there, and, and maybe we, we thought to ourselves, oh, we can just turn up against Grimsby and win. Um, but that's not the case in this league and in any any profession. You've got to keep your foot to the pet, uh, metal all the time. And uh, now now we get starting to get a few pe more players settled in. Uh, myself, Adam Murray, I know, is signed. Um, the more the more players we get settled in and signed up, uh, the more stable the team will become, and the more more um, positive the results are going to become. In truth, the side's been guilty of inconsistency throughout this campaign. How can that be turned around? Uh, as I just said, um, by by showing commitment to the players that they want here, uh, like they've done with me, like they've done with Muzza, um, like they're trying to do with other players, if they show that commitment and get these players signed... If who shows the commitment? The club. The club. Um, the club, the chairman, chief exec, the manager. Um, if they show the commitment... Um, to the players, then that will will give give the team, give the starting the level, give give the squad uh, more stability, more um, more confidence, and and I think that's what we need. Just that little bit more stability and a little bit more confidence to go out and start um, turning in performances that, that we should be. Uh, like you said, be more consistent. Surely it's not down to the off the field people, though, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. But it does help. Um, like with me, my situation over the last couple of weeks, I don't. I don't like to say that it's, it's affected me in any way. But now I can. I can solely um, have in my head that all I have to do is perform on a on a Saturday afternoon and on a Tuesday night or whenever we play. Uh, now I know that that deal is sat done and. and my future at the club is secure for another 18 months. I can now look forward to just going out and doing my stuff and, and playing well. So no, it's not it's not down to the people off the field at all, but it does help when uh, they show the confidence in you that you need to go out and, and perform and, and get, uh, get three points every game. I suppose the reasons why perhaps a few players' contracts haven't been tied up has been because of the change of manager though. Yeah, I guess so. Um, every manager's going to have his his own opinion, um, but this is this is a time now where uh, things like that need tying up. Um, he needs uh, the gaffer, Russ. He, he needs to um, pick pick what players he wants here, pick what players he don't want here, and um, and and crack on with what he's got to do. Because, um, so like I said, when when you have a bit of a change around, yeah, everyone's buzzing for the new manager. But then, if people are left out or, or this, that, and the other, then then it does get a bit difficult for some players. Um, so the gaffer needs to do what he needs to do and and sort out the players he don't want and he wants. And the sooner the sooner we can get settled and know where we're going, uh, the better. As captain, the lads are all behind him, aren't they? Oh yeah, hundred um, percent. He's he's one of them guys. Uh, the gaffer's one of them guys that will. He looks. At, he, he tries to look after the players as much as he can. 
Um, I know he's 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 got our backs, in other words, and and I think that's how it should be. And every single one of the boys knows that. And with that, that that demands a lot of respect because I know if he's he's going to have my back, I I love his. And I think uh, as a football club, throughout throughout the whole football club, from the fans, from uh, the chairman, from the managers, from the players, from the boys, are not involved and watching in the stands. If you stick together and and be as one unit, that can only help. And and if everyone does that, then this place will get the success it needs. In your opinion, and you've achieved success with sides, do we have the players, do we have the squad capable of achieving a playoff place? Do you truly believe that? Yes, I truly believe that we got uh, enough not only in the 11, but in the 16, but in the 20 or the 25, whatever the squad is, we've got enough in there and enough in the background staff um, and enough in the stands that we can we can succeed. There's no doubt about it. We're going to have to go on one hell of a run because uh, we've won as many games as we've lost. You've been in sides which have gone on good runs what what is needed to go on a really really impressive run? Something of the like that has not been seen here in recent years. Just, just go and do your stuff. Have confidence in your own ability um, as an individual and as a team. Um, and if that does come, that run that you've just talked about will come. But where does the confidence stem from? From training hard, from from putting it in every session, from. But you've been doing this already, though, haven't you? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Um, and some results haven't gone our way, but we need to start winning games. When we win games, and it will happen because we've got the quality in the team, no doubt about it. Um, when we start winning games, that 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 breeds confidence throughout the, the football club, not only in on the pitch. It breeds confidence in the stand. It breeds confidence everywhere, and. Uh, when we get a winning mentality, it won't stop. You'll know because you speak to supporters. I know you do. Um, but there is a little bit of discontent out there. There's no getting away from that. What would you say to them? They don't want to hear fluff. What would you say to them from the heart? From the heart, this is this is a this is a club that um, wants to do well. Not one of them players wants to go out and, and, and mess about or, or not try and win. Every one of them players is a professional football player and professionals want to do well, they want to win and and their job is to do well and win. Um, so have a bit of confidence in in them. Keep supporting us. I know it might be difficult at some times because of the results and what have you, but like I said, have a bit of confidence in what we're trying to do here because it will turn around. You'll put it right? Well, I'm going to do my damnedest. Um, I've been trying my damnedest since I've, I've come on loan, but now I'm, I'm officially a Mansfield Town player. Um, it's, it's going to change. I appreciate uh, your honesty. Thanks, Reese. No worries, Steve-O.